Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will talk about what is an information security program. First of all, let's look at the definition of a project. A project has a defined start and end point and specific objectives that when attained signify completion. That's a standard definition of project and we all know that. A program is slightly different. A program is, defined, is, a program is defined as a group of related projects managed in a coordinated way to obtain benefits not available individually with each project. Now, a program can be an information security program as well. And a security program is the sum total of all the activities planned and executed by the organization to meet its security objectives as per the information security policy of the organization. Now, here's a diagram showing the entire life cycle of an information security program and the various activities that would be conducted by a chief information security officer or by the information security team. First of all, let's look at the blue part, plan part. So, the information security team or the information security program will consist of an assessment. Where do we stand right now? We create a strategy. How are we going to run the entire program? We create an architecture and we architect and design the security components and the security controls. After that, we build the orange part. We build the infrastructure and we embed the security controls in the, in the infrastructure. We build processes which are secure and ensure that information security is addressed while we conduct our business processes. And we look at controls to implement in various parts of the organization and in its activities, such as the administration, the human resource, the compliance aspect, the, uh, the legal aspect, the IT security aspect, the training and awareness aspect. So then we run the program, the green part. We protect the organization, with the help of various security tools, various security processes, we monitor and we try to detect any security incidents. And then when, it, when there is an incident, then we respond as well. So in this diagram, we show the entire information security program lifecycle. The next diagram that you can see on the screen consists of various ISO 27001-2013 information security management system requirements and controls. And these together make up various parts of an effective information security program. The first one being policy. We set out a policy. What are the do's and don'ts? Who should do what when? Management commitment and performance review needs to be conducted. And management needs to review if the organization is achieving the information security ob objectives through a performance review. Then we have a risk management program to assess risks, to remediate and fix risks, and to have a risk treatment so that any aspect of the organization which, is, which needs to be secured has a risk treatment. Then we have asset management, which are the IT assets, which controls need to be applied on those assets. Where are those assets? Who are the asset owners? We have access control. Who will have access to what resources in what role? What is the privilege that we will assign to various, various resources? We have physical and environmental controls. We need to protect the data center. We need to protect the physical office. We have doors. We have gates. We have security guards. We have access control cards. Um, and we may have biometric devices to make sure that only the right people enter the authorized areas. We have operation security. And that consists of various aspects in operation security. For example, there is incident management, change management. We have communication security. Whenever there is communication, it needs to be encrypted, for example. We have incident management. If there is an incident, it needs to be handled appropriately. We have business continuity. If there is a disruption to the IT network, the business needs to continue through a disaster recovery site, for example. There's compliance to laws, and there are third-party reviews. Here is another diagram which shows the four-layer security transformation model 
which Delta Tech implements as a consulting company all over Pakistan, and we have done it very, very successfully. The first stage is security hardening. The second stage is vulnerability management. The third stage is security engineering. And the fourth stage is security governance. And this is such an effective transformation model which fixes the security of an organization that it is a very effective information security program as well, and it can be implemented as a security program. So the four-layer security transformation model may be implemented as an ideal security program, and it can rely on ISO 27001-2013 for the governance aspect. After establishing a basic policy, the sequence of the program for the security transformation model would be steps one through four. The steps and the sequence is very important. It's of paramount importance in order to achieve constructive and correct results. That's all we have for this video. Thank you.